Hi, welcome back. This is uh, update five of my senior capstone project. Uh, this is going to be the final uh, dev blog for the school semester. Um, but uh, this this video is going to really just go over everything that's been added from the beginning of the semester till now. Uh, the current date now, it's May 13th, 2023. So right here we have the player. Uh, the player has 10 hit points and can cycle between three different weapons. Um, once the uh, player receives damage, uh, it'll have a little invincibility for like a small duration. So you're not always getting hit all the time. Like if I'm sitting on top of an enemy, it's not going to drain my health super fast. Uh, like I said, the player has three different weapons. Uh, the rifle. Uh, the rifle, it's the first weapon I created uh, when I was making this game. Uh, the rifle, it's a long-ranged uh, weapon. can pierce through enemies. Uh, kind of like a medium rate of fire type weapon. Uh, good for if you're just hiding behind cover and don't want to get damaged uh, the rifle is the go-to next we got the pistol the pistol is a mid short range weapon uh, it's a more like a rapid firing weapon uh, I guess I'd say it's ideal if you're um, just looking to pick off enemies or if there's a ton of small enemies that are coming after you you can use that and then we got, last but not least, the shotgun. Uh, the shotgun, it's a slow, uh, slow firing weapon, but short range, but it has a lot of damage, a lot of firepower. Uh, ideally, you can use this if you want to chunk down bigger enemies or just mow down groups of enemies. Um, for the enemies, uh, we got the Cyclops. The Cyclops was the first enemy made. Uh, this is your standard uh, chasing the player and shooting the player. Um, it has two states. Uh, first, it's once the uh, enemy comes into view of the player's camera, uh, the Cyclops is going to uh, chase after the player and it'll randomly shoot at the player uh, first it's gonna wind up before it takes a shot it'll wind do a little it'll stand still and have a little wind up animation and then it'll fire the bullet and then it'll start it'll go back to chasing the character uh, the next enemy I made is the goblin uh, it's just like the Cyclops um, it'll chase and shoot the player but it's slower but has more health than the Cyclops and the rate of fire isn't as fast as the Cyclops but um, it has a shorter wind-up time and the projectiles it shoots uh, travel much faster next we got the monk enemy um, it's a stationary enemy uh, has I believe 10 hit points just like the player uh, doesn't move but uh, it shoots rapidly so it's more of like a turret I guess you could call it like a turret like a little stationary turret enemy and then last but not least we got the tesseract uh, it's just like the monk in the sense like just sit still doesn't move at all but once it comes into the players camera view it's gonna start summoning uh, these uh, homing cubes at you, these little homing enemies, these little cubes. Um, and it has a lot more health than the uh, monk. I believe it has 20, I wanna say, 20, 20 hit points. For stage assets, we got crates. Uh, they only have five hit points. Uh, breaks once it's destroyed. Uh, mainly they're just there for cover but uh, maybe in the future I could you know have maybe crates they drop money or they drop 
health items, stuff like that. And then there's lava. Um, lava only affects the player. Uh, all enemies are immune to lava damage. But uh, yeah, you walk over it, you get dealt one damage. Uh, nothing too crazy. So for things to add into the future, uh, really the main important one is to define the game goals, like kind of like the structure of the game. Like, is it going to be linear? Is there going to be multiple areas with items? Is it going to be like a dungeon crawler? Uh, stuff like that. Uh, there isn't really like rules because uh, right now the current demo as is right now it's just uh, you know you're in a box full of enemies once you kill all the enemies uh, there isn't really like a restart screen or a you win screen it's just you're just kinda there and so uh, something I definitely want to add uh, another thing I want to add uh, balanced damage system <clears throat> because all of the uh, all of the stage hazards all of the enemies in the player when you get hit by a bullet it's only gonna do one HP and so uh, definitely want to add a system really balance out the game make make it so that you know it's actually playable and not like broken uh, I don't want to make enemies too weak or the player too weak or I don't want to make the game too difficult or too easy you know just stuff like that so definitely making a balanced damage system uh, start menu and UI uh, the only UI I've made for the game is the health bar for the player and enemies and uh, the death screen uh, which um, once you die uh, it's gonna ask you to oh you just shoot to restart and then you'll just spawn back in and run through it all again. So definitely want to add more UI to the player uh, to the game. Uh, items, there's no items in the game at the moment. Uh, definitely want to add uh, items that you can pick up. Uh, maybe, like I said before, maybe like you can find them in crates, health items, uh, money. Maybe add a shop, stuff like that. Uh, Maybe new weapons you can find or upgrades, maybe like armor, stuff like that. Uh, next, as enemy AI, um, the since the beginning of the semester, most of the enemies, um, they were all dumb. Like once you would spawn into the game, they would all immediately start chasing you, even if they're off screen. And so they're a little smarter now in the sense that once they come into view then they'll start chasing the player uh, they still run into walls you know it's a little awkward like their hitboxes you know they'll clip onto like a pixel of like all they got on the wall and then they just get stuck there maybe they'll get stuck on each other and so definitely improving the AI that's something I want to add uh, as well as creating multiple rooms uh, multiple stages uh, right now I only have one biome, it's kind of like just like a dungeon castle-esque uh, stage. Uh, maybe add like a water level or like a beach themed level or you know like a forest themed level. Something something to make the game you know more unique, more uh, you know give it more replayability and uh, then just some small details like some like additional animations say like death animations or maybe when you kill an enemy they'll leave a body behind uh, particle effects for shooting and moving and sound effects sound effects of course is very important uh, right now it's kind of just the demo right now as is it's kind of just an awkward silence but um, and music, music, definitely got to add music to, you know, really immerse yourself into the game. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so how I made this project is I used Game Maker Studio. Uh, Game Maker Studio, uh, right now I'm using the free version right now. Uh, it's 
mainly specializes in building 2D games. Uh, I think there is th some, I think you can do 3D games. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, it has its own uh, programming language that you can learn and use. Uh, I'd say if I were to just compare it to another language, I'd say the syntax is a lot similar to Java. Java, JavaScript, um, but it does have its own, uh, you know, you can make your own animations in Game Maker, you can make your own sprites. Uh, uh, right here, uh, you can see a little animation. And uh, Game Maker Studio also lets you choose how to customize the hitboxes of everything. So, like the player right here, uh, you know. There's a lot of features to it that you don't have to keep track of when you're playing, when you're making games on it. Uh, Game Maker Studio pretty much does all the heavy lifting. Uh, there's a lot of online resources. Like I, I learned most of the stuff I made here with YouTube. Uh, right here, this is a script for all the weapons. Right here. Uh, there's only three weapons right now. Uh, let me full screen that. Uh, so, like I said, the structure is a lot similar to Java. So right here we got a constructor for a weapon. Right here we got a, we got the sprite for the weapon, the length of the weapon, the odd, like the bullet object it's gonna shoot, the cooldown number, spread, etc. So we got it right here. We have all the weapons on a global list right here. We got the rifle, pistol, and shotgun. Uh, what else? Where is oh, uh, this script right here. This is this mainly deals with uh, drawing like the player's weapon, uh, just keeping the weapon on the player, uh, making sure that the player uh, follows like the cursor, and so if I was, it can turn all the way 360 degrees, and so. Uh, the animation correlates with like the direction of the cursor. Um, so this this uh, bit of code right here, this just kind of just uh, draws the weapon onto the player's body, kind of offsets it a little bit, and this handles the rotation of the character, just like the movement. Uh, this code right here, uh, this this is the damage system pretty much. Um, this handles all of the damage, whether it be the enemy or like a crate or the player. And so uh, this is just so it keeps track of um, what gets hit and how much damage it takes. Uh, right now it's just one. Um, this uh, bit of code right here, this deals with invincibility frames. Uh, this one. Uh, deals with receiving damage uh, once something once an object say like an enemy or a player receives damage uh, it's gonna get put onto a list like okay this thing got hit by this so this is pretty much long story short this keeps track of what gets hit and then it'll clear all of the uh, it'll clear the damage list uh, once it's done keeping track of it uh, let me go ahead and uh, show you that real quick. So, oh, let me kill these guys real quick. So, pretty much right here, uh, this number on top, this shows the um, number of bullets it's getting hit by. So right now it's one. This is just the health. So if I were gonna, if I were to shoot eight bullets. Yep, see? Yeah, it'll show. It's so uh, when an object is getting hit by multiple objects at the same time, the system will keep track of that. See? And let me just shoot it right here. Yep, seven. Seven bullets. But uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and jump right into like a real live gameplay demo of the game. Uh, So here's the game right here. Uh, it's 
it's pretty it can get pretty hectic once there's a lot of enemies coming at you yeah, as you can see right here uh, yeah let me just zone these guys out real quick but uh, a demo is available uh, for free online uh, you just need to use the opera browser in order to run it uh, you can get the Opera browser on uh, Mac or Windows. Uh, it's free for everyone, so uh, you know, go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, let me know how the game runs. Let me know how it plays. Um, the quality of the game, though, is not as good. Like it's like right now, it looks all right, but the quality uh, on Opera on the Opera browser, it's not gonna look as good. Uh, just gonna tell you guys that right now but uh, this game is fully playable uh, there, like I said before there isn't re like a real objective to the game right now um, right now it's just you're in a box full of enemies once you kill all the enemies that's pretty much it you can just close out of the browser or once you die it's gonna ask you uh, to restart the game but uh, yeah this this is pretty much the final product, the product uh, pr of the project. Sorry, <laughs> this is pretty much the uh, the whole project I've been working on throughout the whole semester. Yep, see, yep, enemy getting stuck right here. I gotta fix that. But uh, yeah, I uh, I actually uh, drew these all the enemies and like the player. And the weapons from scratch. Uh, I saw a YouTube video how to uh, make the tile set for this game. Uh, and so it's not like, you know, I just came up with it in my head. I, I, I watched a YouTube video. Um, I'll put the links, I'll put the resources I used to make this project in the description as well as uh, my GitHub and the link to the game. So you can play it. But, uh, yeah, this is um, hopefully in the future. I'll probably keep adding on to this game as like a side gig. Um, I'm done with school, and so I'm at that point in my life where I'm just gonna figure out uh, what I want to do, stuff like that. But uh, definitely, uh, this project was a lot of fun to work on. Uh, shout out to Professor Hendrix. Uh, for giving me uh, the creative freedom but uh, yeah like I said before uh, games playable on uh, the Opera browser uh, all you just need is the browser to play the game uh, maybe in the future uh, I'll add uh, mobile mobile gameplay like put it on the Play Store like the Google Play Store, um, but uh, Game Maker Studio won't allow me to export projects as like execu executable files just because uh, you have to pay for that, <laughs> and uh, I don't want to do that. And so, not yet, at least. And so, uh, right now, it's just playable on the Opera browser, uh, web browser. Kill this guy real quick. Yeah. Uh, I'd say I definitely got the inspiration from Hotline Miami, uh, Binding of Isaac, uh, Risk of Rain. Uh, Risk of Rain's a really good game. I've been playing that nonstop lately. Uh, oh, I think I might die here. Hold up. Yep. Yeah. So, yep. This is my senior seminar project. Uh, Go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, let me know uh, in the comments how the game is. But yeah, thanks for uh, following all my uh, dev vlogs if you've been watching. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video.